This is an introduction to Bluefish 2.2.0. Let's start Bluefish by opening a project. Our project is called test. So in the GNOME shell I type test and there we have my project called test. Bluefish still looks the same, but a lot has changed. Under the hood Bluefish now works with the new GTK3 series. As you can see here. But a lot more has changed. A lot of existing features are just a bit more polished. Bluefish has gotten faster, especially when working with large files. Bluefish also supports more languages now. But not all of them are shown in the menu anymore. As you see, here is a large list of languages. For example, look here, there is Novala. If I go to Preferences, Language Support, there is Vala here. I tick show in menu and now Vala will be shown in menu. As you see here there are a lot more, for example WordPress, uh, there are a couple of more languages, uh, HTML5, Google Go, uh, D, etc. There are several more languages that have, uh, are not present in Bluefish 2.0. As you see now, language mode, uh, it has Vala here. So you can customize it yourself which language are shown. If they are not shown in the menu, they are still supported. So if you open a Vala file while Vala is not on the menu, it will still uh, recognize the Vala syntax. The language syntax scanner has a couple of new features. For example, the toggle comment function. Over here I have a PHP file with, which has PHP obviously, but it has also HTML, uh, it has a JavaScript here, it has CSS uh, syntax here. If I select some text here in the HTML and hit shift Control c for comment, I get a comment. I hit it again, the comment is gone. If I do the same inside the CSS uh, block, I get a different type of comment because this is CSS context. Same for JavaScript, obviously a JavaScript comment here, I can do the same in uh, over here in PHP, comment it. Um, as you see in PHP we have three types of commands. For example we have here a command. Uh, if I hit shift Control c it's gone. I have a line command here. This is recognized. And there is a block command here. If I hit shift Control g everything is uncommented. Just select the block, hit shift Control c and I have a block command again. Another new feature is the block selection. If I press, uh, put the, the, the cursor over here, you see on the status bar you see bold paragraph body HTML. So there is the, the block stack is here. If I hit Shift Control B, the most inner block is selected. Hit it again, I get the block boundaries as well. Hit it again, I get the next, the parent block. Hit it again, I get the block boundaries for the parent block and so on and so on. This works in HTML. As you see, it works in CSS. Uh, and if I go to a PHP part, for example, here inside function arguments, hit once, twice, hit it again, hit it again, hit it again. So if you want to uh, comment out a complete block, for example, just hit shift Control b for the block that you want to comment. Hit shift Control c and everything is in the command. Hit it again, shift Control c and your text is back. Another new feature is that Bluefish now recognizes identifiers. Identifiers are, uh, for example, not official function names, but functions that you've defined yourself. Over here I have a file which has defines a lot of functions. As you see here, we have rate download, uh, we have rate image, if I start to type uh, rate now in the PHP context, I see rate download, rate image, rate link. So I just select rate image. Uh, so we have auto completion now for user defined functions. But what if I don't know the arguments to the function? There is another new feature, which is a jump feature. I hit Ctrl G and I jump to the definition of this function. So right now, but the cursor is in function rate image. Hit Ctrl G, and there we have function rate image. So it, the jump feature jumps to the definition 
of the uh, of the identifier. The last new feature in, in this Bluefish release is a completely rewritten search engine. I select the word translation, hit Shift Control F, which is uh, search from selection, or do it here, we have find from clipboard. And there we have the new search. This is the simple search, so it's integrated in the uh, uh, in the top bar. It's not a new dialog anymore. One thing is that all the results are immediately shown. So we have a couple of occurrences of translation here, as you see, uh, marked yellow. We can go forward, but we also can go backward, which was not possible with the previous blue, uh, previous Bluefish releases. If you want more options, click Advanced, and you get the dialog. And as you see, uh, you can replace translation. There is a match pattern for normal or regular expression uh, patterns. And this is new, you can search on disk. For example, let's uh, search for test. For files on disk, I search in all HTML files and click Find All. As you see here, there is a lot of files that match on the word test. For example, yeah, just double click it and that file will open and the line where the word was found is found. So, yeah, no longer need to grab uh, to find through a lot of files uh, which file is using a specific JavaScript function or a specific PHP function. Just use Bluefish, scroll through the results and uh, just double click to open that file. Obviously, uh, Find, you can find, file, uh, uh, find the word in files that are not open, but you can also replace them. So good right now, uh, replace test in all those files and replace it with something else. There are many more new features in Bluefish, but they, those are the more minor features. So give it a try and find those features.